I'm Leon Glasky, and I'm here with a good friend of mine, Liv. Uh, Liv is somebody that I've worked with uh, for some time now, and we wanted to share her customer journey story with you uh, so that you know a little bit more about what it's like to work with myself uh, and my team. Yay. Welcome, Liv. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. <laughs> so um, what comes to mind when you think of me and my team uh, working with you on your business? What's the first thing that I comes can say to mind? many things. <laughs> the number one thing that comes to mind and I think is so important is overview. You really think of the long game. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that so much because that's where I maybe I'm not one of my strengths. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you really know, OK, we're not just thinking about next month or in two months. We're really thinking about the long game and making it sustainable so it keeps a steady growth. Mm -hmm. And that's something I've appreciated so much. Very cool. And uh, so tell me a little bit uh, so that they know a little bit about your business and what you do and how you impact the world. Well, I teach women's mindset. So I have one group where it's general women's empowerment, mm -hmm. believing in yourself, be feeling confidence. And the other part is female entrepreneurs, because I've worked with entrepreneurship myself. So it's both on the strategy side, on building a business, but especially also the mindset part of it, believing in yourself so you actually follow through on your actions and your strategy. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you want to tell them one of the unique things about your business? Where are you doing uh, this business? In Denmark. <laughs> and everything's in Danish. <laughs> and we're in LA right now, so it's completely location independent, which I love. <laughs> Absolutely. And so tell me uh, a little bit about where you were with your business uh, before you had met me. Maybe a little bit about how you met me and, and where you're at now. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, we actually met through a common friend mm -hmm. years and years ago before I started doing what I'm doing now. Probably like six, year, six years ago. Yeah, yeah. So in this business that I have now, I've been doing it for a bit over a year. And so I started off with actually a really successful podcast and an Instagram account in Danish. And then you hit me up and you were like, are you actually monetizing? Do you know how to convert your audience? <laughs> and then you shared with me like strategies like starting with the webinar, what is, an, what is a funnel, how do you use it? Because I had an amazing audience, I had a really dedicated following, but no idea how to convert. Mm -hmm. And I was also only selling like really, really low ticket offers and very short term offers. And that's where you come in. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so talk a little bit about that because, you know, we had transitioned. I think you had um, a low ticket. So that would be like under $100 yeah. type offer that you had. And now you have uh, a, a much higher ticket. So uh, share a little bit about that and what that process has been like for you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, now it's, uh, I think in what, like three, four months, you helped me turn it into six-figure business. Like it just exploded. <laughs> so I can't even believe it. Like I have to sometimes like check in because I've done business before and again, and this happens for so many and, and it's interesting now. It's also what I teach, but I was suffering so much from imposter syndrome. Uh -huh. So one thing, because I really want to emphasize this to everyone who's watching and and wants to work with you is that you help me on the strategy side, but also mindset wise, uh -huh. which just, that makes everything possible. Cause yeah, I was doing like very low ticket. I would sell maybe like a 21 day challenge that was like, I think $30, $60. Then I would do like a one day event that was maybe $200, but then that was it. I didn't funnel it anywhere. And when you came in, you really helped me realize that it was my imposter syndrome holding me back. So I wasn't actually serving my followers, serving my listeners the sure. way I wanted to and the way that I could because I was really holding myself back. So that was one side of it. And then the other was just implementing a funnel. And like you say, sometimes like it's a sales machine. Mm -hmm. So now I understand, okay, when I do an online challenge, when I do a webinar, this is the outcome. We sell to this, then we sell to this. So I keep adding more and more value which is amazing. Uh, so uh, one of the things that I've been able to do over the last couple of years is uh, I had an opportunity to study energy and how it works you know, with business, not only uh, the business itself, but how it affects the entrepreneur and how I can help them move uh, much faster uh, in their business. So can you maybe give some examples of how some of my woo uh, knowledge has helped you with your business? Yes, I would love to because I love it so much. <laughs> well, there's definitely a number one thing that comes to mind is before we started working together, I would be on this high, I'd be super motivated, I'd be so excited, I'd feel fulfilled, 
and I would crash and burn, physically get sick, I would lay in bed, I wouldn't be able to get out of bed, my mind felt like so overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And then you taught me and, or opened my mind to how I was taking on other people's energy mm -hmm. and then how to cut cords and how to clear that energy. So now I started implementing that on a daily basis and have good rituals. Mm -hmm. So that allows me to, I guess, manage my own energy and also clear off other people's energy. And a second thing actually too, I started off saying how you really think about the long-term game, the sustainability sure. and growing the business. And that's another thing where you're, you're so good for me because when I say, hey Leon, I think I wanna do this, maybe I wanna do this, you call me out of sticking in my comfort zone. Mm. Yeah. And, and when I start shrinking myself and shrinking my energy, you're really good at picking up on that. So you help me turn it around and open up and expand my container instead. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think is one of the biggest ways that I help on just the marketing side of the business? Well, it's definitely implementing a strategy that works so that I have a go-to strategy when I want to launch my high ticket offer what does that look like for me now i'm not like just like scrambling in the dark mm -hmm. like trying to do one thing here one thing there now i know okay i have this strategy in place so when i do a it leads me to b it leads me to c so not only do i now have the steady income mm -hmm. and a much much higher income than before but i also feel much more confident in what i'm doing because i know what it does mm -hmm. and that's been huge Mm -hmm. Very cool. And uh, what is the most expected, unexpected uh, thing that's uh, come of us working together? That's been the woo stuff. That's been the energy mm. stuff. And, and, and I didn't, um, how would I put this? Before we started working together, I knew how brilliant you are with Facebook ads, with the marketing side, with strategizing. Because mm -hmm. I've heard that from other people. You've helped another friend grow his business tremendously so I knew that about you mm -hmm. but really like the mindset and the energy side that's been amazing mm -hmm. and that was unexpected <laughs> very cool so um, is there anything that you'd want to tell somebody that's thinking of working with me and my team yeah do it <laughs> yeah do it <laughs> that's the short version <laughs> Well, I, I can say that because I, I believe that many will relate to this. I was so scared of the investment that was really holding myself back because I have I really had so many limiting beliefs about money. So making that investment is so scary. But for yeah. me and for so many others, it's necessary. Mm -hmm. And then to have get the strategy, be called out on your own BS mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and an accountability partner and all of that just I, you can't put a price on that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, do you think that what I do, that I can help people in other industries? Oh, for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I see you do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I came from a product-based business. I don't do product anymore. But I can see that what you do with that also works tremendously. So absolutely. I mm -hmm. think that you could dive into any space. Because what you're also really good at, I think you have, I don't know if it's like an intuitive and also with all of your years of experience, but it, you're very fast and you know exactly, okay, if we tweak here, we're going to get an effect. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people are, I guess they're not dialing in on the most important things and you know exactly what that is. Yeah, and a little bit of that's from my manufacturing background. So I'm always identifying like the biggest constraint in the business because if somebody's working anywhere else, it actually has little to no impact on the business. So I only care about like what is the big thing because if I move that boulder, now that constraint goes somewhere else and then the business is going to grow much faster. Yeah, well said. That's exact because sometimes you call me out and you say, is this activity or is it progress? Mm -hmm. Does this actually impact your business? And I'd be like, oh, oh no, now I'm stuck in my comfort zone. Now I'm doing just because it's easy. <laughs> so I love that. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, is there anything else that you want to add uh, to this video? No, just that it, you've helped me not just transform my business, but my life. Because mm -hmm. before I was living in a scarcity mindset and, and very scared of, oh, what's my next paycheck? Is it going to be like this or that? It was not steady. So mm -hmm. 
I have my now I sleep better at night because I know I have a steady income and it, it's continuously growing. Mm -hmm. So you didn't just help my business, you helped me as a person in my life. Mm -hmm. And that's tremendous. Tell me a little bit about the biggest shift that you were able to have in your business uh, because of working with me and what that looked like. Yeah. Well, a huge shift that, that you opened my eyes to and, and you taught me was that it's not now it's not coming from a space of my ego or I need to make money and I need this or I need likes for validation online. You really helped me open up my perspective and see a different way of now I'm serving people. Now I'm helping others and that's impacting on so much a higher level and it's it's a completely different energy exchange. So that just made a huge difference. That's actually that is part of what made me be able to shift into high ticket offers and, and my, my high level group coaching program mm -hmm. that was the biggest change in the business. Also in like what you taught me, the biggest impact and also the biggest income. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. And uh, if you were to pick three words to describe me, uh, what would those be? Three words? <laughs> you know I love talking so this is very difficult for me. <laughs> you only get three. <laughs> Um, <laughs> super smart, okay, smart, I'll choose just one, really intelligent, compassionate, intuitive. Hmm. Very good, thank you. Well, I appreciate you doing this. I'm sure that I'm going to be able to help some other people uh, from watching this video, so thank you. I hope so. And thank uh, you. look forward to shooting another one sometime in the future and talking about all the other new cool stuff you're doing, so thank you. Thank you.